Sisters, welcome back to the Lynx TV. It's your boy El Price Chef. Today I want to introduce you guys to something a little bit different. We got some diced up chicken breasts right here, seasoned with some garlic seasoning, some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of herb just for flavoring. Over on the left right here, we have some salmon steak bone pieces. I just seasoned that up with some parsley, garlic seasoning. We use the powdered garlic. You don't want to use the chunk garlic. Uh, the powdered garlic seeps into it a bit more and brings in that nice juicy flavor. Uh, a few things you're going to need over here is a small pan for the chicken breast pieces. We're going to saute it in here. For our veggies, we're going to put it in this one right here. And for our bone, what we're going to do is put it on our pan sear pot. Over right here, you're going to need a chopping board, of course, a veggie one. I like to use this one right here. And two knives. This is my veggie knife and a small one just to get into that curving, peeling out, like, you know, small defections inside of it. We're going to get started. First, we're going to put fish on the pan sear. Place it down nice. It roughly takes about 10 minutes to fully cook on both sides, so five minutes on each side. And you're gonna see it, you're gonna notice the texture as we go along. You're also gonna notice the coloring on it. You want your heat to be on medium, so we're gonna put it on about five and a half on my stove. So depending on what type of stove you have, you go accordingly, all right? All right, so I'm just gonna keep my utensils together and not mix them up. Right here, what I love to use is some organic avocado oil. Purchase some Costco, wherever you are. Look it up online. So right here, I have it on medium. It's warming up right now. We're gonna introduce you to the veggies. We got some mushrooms. We have some bell peppers right here. What I did with these ones, I cut them long. Over here, we got some diced up kale. And over here, we have some sliced peppers. Let's go over to the fish right here. It's time to turn them. I'm gonna slantly hit them like that. There we go. Let's turn those over. Mmm. Come on, let's make sure that everything doesn't stick, every area. And you lift and you flip. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to tend to the nether one. There we go. So, look at that coloring, guys. What you want to do, so look at the difference. Look at this one right here that's not cooked properly. And look at this one right now. It has a nice pink. A light cook to it. Let's see what the finished product looks like at the end. All right, so I'm gonna introduce you to the herbs that we're gonna use. I have a bit of all this herbs that I did in the garden in the summertime. So they're all dried up. We got some thyme, some oregano, some parsley, some rosemary right here. We're just gonna crunch them up and throw them in. What I do have also is some garlic pepper herbs. I really like a nice herby salad. I like to throw my herbs first with the oil. And of course, you add a bit more to flavoring as you go. So right over here, what we're gonna do is put the most solid vegetables first. I'm gonna start with my bell pepper. Since they tend to water a lot, and that helps create more of the flavoring and the juice for all the other veggies that we're gonna throw in. There we go. And we're just gonna stir and stir. Also what I like to do, because I want them to be steamed with the nice oil to bring out the flavor in them, I just cover it down for about one to two minutes. All right, so we're gonna preheat the chicken pan right here. Medium low, because it's chicken strip, so it's very thin pieces. Avocado oil, love it. I just like to circle it around the pan to make sure there's full coverage. Let it heat for about two minutes. I like to be very sanitary, so I prefer to use metal pump. We're just gonna let it warm up, place the chicken in. Oh, you hear that little small sizzle? Means that the pan is already. Look at all that seasoning, all that herb on that. And we're just gonna give it a nice little stir like that to make sure it doesn't stick. And this is how we do it. El Press Chef, y'all. So it's time to take these. Oh, here we go. Mm, let's see what the other side looks like. Oh, look at those grill marks. Really nice, really high end. You can serve this for a dinner for yourself, for work, for lunch, or even for the boo. Hey, hey. Look at those, just delicious. Oh my goodness. So it's time to turn them. How do you know when it's time to turn them? Take a look. So if you look right around here, you see that white 
meat right here. That's just letting you know that it's half cooked on the other side. So let's take a flip and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Just wonderful. So what we want to do now is make sure that the other side looks exactly like that. Also, we want to make sure that it's cooked properly and balanced on both sides. Mm. There we go. All right, so we're gonna check up on our veggies. If we see over here, you see all the juice and everything. Oh, all the herbs in the veggies right there. Oh my goodness, so scrumptious. So now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add our peppers and our mushrooms. Because we wanna keep the consistency and flavor, what we're gonna do is add a bit more salt because we just add a bit more veggies. So a little bit sprinkle and a little bit of black pepper. And stir. So now that the veggies are almost done, you can see all the peppers are sweating, all the juice is up, and everything is coming up right here. So what we're gonna do now is add the dice of kale into it as a finishing touch. So what we wanna do now, just let the kale cook for about like three to four minutes, and the veggies is done. So guys, the chicken is done. Let's take a look. So as you can see on both sides, it's properly cooked and colored. All of them. There we go. And that's how you want your chicken to look like. What you want to do is take it off the pan because you don't want to keep it there because the heat is on it. You want to make sure that you don't dry up all that beautiful juice inside of that chicken. Keep the flavor coming. All right, guys, this is the finished product of the veggies, our salmon, and our grilled chicken. Come closer and let's take a taste look. All right, so first, I'm going to taste my veggies. It tastes so good. The Mushrooms have so much texture. I really like the mushroom because it always soaks up all the flavors, okay? You hear that crunch right there? You want to make sure that your kale is not overcooked. So good. And our peppers now? Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. I absolutely love it. Let's take a taste of our chicken. So we gotta remember, the seasoning really brings out all the juices and all the delicious flavoring. <laughs> Guys, if you can taste this right now, mm. now let's take a taste of our salmon. Nice, soft, nice chew texture. I love the, the parsley flavoring. I love the nice garlic flavoring I got on it. All right, guys, let's try this out at home for yourself, for your family, or your loved ones. So let's practice and practice makes perfect. Like, subscribe, give your boy some of your advice, some of your feedback. Look down below for all the recipes and all the ingredients. And give a good like. And till next time, guys. You're so freaking. Okay, Ambrose Fitness.